Hi guys, it's Jay Nice from Time to Glow Glamour Bar in Lockport, New York. I am back with more content for you today. Today's subject is the detox pedicure. So I offer this pedicure in our shop. It removes different toxins and such from you. I'm gonna go ahead and give you a sneak peek of how we set up and the different benefits for this as well as my results because I will do mine on this video. Stay tuned. So as you can see here, I have my lovely pedicure unit. That sparkle of stuff down there is salt that is needed to properly run this detox. And here we have our array. This is the baby that's gonna do all the work and remove all the yuckiness and the metals and different toxins from our body through our feet. It's a beautiful little thing, isn't it? Yep. So we'll begin by putting our feet inside the pedicure unit. You may not use metal as it will wear down these arrays faster and could cause some issues over time. You are to use plastic or glass. And it's said to use this water as warm as possibly tolerated to gain the best results during your detox session. This stuff is just disgusting, but I know I'm going to feel so much better. I'm going to sleep better and just enjoy life. So I do do this in a series of three. You're supposed to do this in a series of three minimum. You can do it longer and do it shorter. You can knock all three out in one week, or you can spread it out one per week for three weeks. This is actually really comfortable. And I'm sorry if this is gross as anybody out, but this is stuff that lives in our body. Watching this come out is very therapeutic. I don't know about for you guys, but it definitely is for me. Let's do a little overview. For this detox, you cannot use this if you're pregnant. You may not ever use this if you have organ transplant just the way the ions and such interact with the body. And if you have active devices, like pacemakers, defibrillators, spinal stems, 
you have to ask your physician and have written consent from them prior to coming here. Without written consent, you will not get this from me. You will sign off on a consent form stating that you do not have these conditions or devices in your body. Um, a smaller person would generally do less time. The closer your body weight is to 100, the, you're not gonna do the full 30 minutes. The bigger your body is, the more so that you can do 30 minutes or longer. Some of the benefits of doing this detox patty. This is from the company. It says, during a detox session, the array creates a negative charge, which pulls the metals and toxins out of your body through our energy meridians, through the reflexology points on the soles of our feet. It can reduce pain and suffering caused by gout, fibromyalgia, arthritis, edema, chronic illnesses, migraines, seasonal allergies. I've been suffering with these ones like you wouldn't believe, I don't know about you guys, but this year has definitely been kicking my butt. Um, you can continue to reduce pain and suffering through people who suffer from Lyme disease, neuropathy, parasitic infections, lupus, multiple sclerosis, and a few other items. Uh, when you place your feet into the foot spa, the negative current will draw the toxins and inflammation from your joints or injuries from your body out into the water. Very little of this material will exit through your feet, but mostly about 90% will be drawn into your lymph system and it will exit through the body through the natural excretory processes, whether you urinate that out or excrete that out or sweat it out. That's what's came out of my body. We are at six and a half minutes right now. And it's also noted that some people don't feel the complete release from some of this until they've done a minimum of two to three sessions. With all this going on, I really need a great detox. So I'm bundling this today on myself. I'm doing this pedicure as well as a sauna detox wrap. According to this chart, I am at, I'll read them both because it's orange and brown. Orange says the area of my body that's being affected is my joints. My symptoms could be arthritis, rheumatism, gout, neuropathy, or fibromyalgia. And then brown is my lungs and cellular debris. The symptoms for that are smoking, secondhand smoke, exposure to secondhand smoke, or other forms of air pollution. Well, I'm an asthmatic, so a lot of things affect my lungs. This can um, vary in colors. It can be yellow green, it can be uh, having black, small black flecks in it, more of a green background base, orange, brown, white like cheese particles, dark green, red, white completely, or black. And all those colors, depending on what color your body pulls out, tells you what area of your body is most um, affected or most um, being influenced by this. But I can say, and I'm, I'm not just pushing this. Um, anybody knows me knows that uh, I fractured my ankle in two spaces coming into the 2018. I've always had issues with that. I have daily pain with that. I've had a longer issue with my right knee going back from playing volleyball and injuring that. Um, and then running lately just kind of takes a toll on the body. No matter how well you take care of yourself, 
in the beginning, something is always um, bound to give you aches and pains. Even if you're ice bathing, stretching, getting daily massage. But this is absolutely disgusting. And don't worry, as for pre-COVID, I double wash all of my bins and barbicide. And post-COVID, nothing has changed because I was already doing way more than they require me to. As so it should have been. As always, thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Bye for now.